Um, hi. All right, hello guys. We are on iPhone cam today because I just decided about 30 seconds ago that I'm gonna vlog. If you were here a couple of videos ago on my channel, you might remember that I spent a very long time decluttering this bookshelf. I went through every single book I had and just, okay, my cat, really? You have to be that close, that close. Come on, get your shot in. Okay, Draco. Anyways, he's gonna knock this phone over in like three seconds. You guys are also balancing on my Stanley cup, like the straw is keeping the phone up. I'm really innovative, but anyways, um, I <laughs> decluttered this bookshelf, every single book that I knew I just wasn't going to read again. Even if I really liked it, I just knew I wasn't gonna read it again. I decided to get rid of because I just, I wanna clear up some space. I really kind of feel like I'm entering a new reading era. So I decluttered a lot of books and I've had them sitting on my floor of my kitchen for like a month now. <laughs> so today is the day. I'm going to have price books. I'm going to donate them. Here are two of the bags. Oh my God. Oh, I'm gonna hurt myself. Okay, here's one. Oh, here's one bag. Here is two bags. Ugh. And then there are even more stacked on the bottom of my bookshelf. So I'm going to bring all of these to Half Price Books. If you don't know, that is a bookstore in Texas that buys, I'm out of breath from lifting that. That's sad. Um, I'm going to bring my books <laughs> to Half Price Books. I'm going to sell them, see how much money I get. I just thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along while they're kind of going through my books. I'll just like go through the store, see if I find anything I might want to get. I'm trying to not buy a lot of books right now because I have so many books I have not read yet that are on my TBR on my shelf, but there are a couple that I have in mind that I do want to look for. So we're going to see if they can find them there. But yeah, I think this will just be a short, fun little vlog. I thought I'd bring you guys along. A few of you asked to see me go and sell them. So that is what we're doing. Let's go. Okay, friends, we have arrived. It is a beautiful day outside. And by beautiful, I mean it is foggy and gloomy, but it's 70 degrees and it's perfect. But still, do we mind? Do we mind? Um, I started sweating so bad bringing all these books to my car. I brought my little cart from my apartment, but still, um, <laughs> I was having to pull my cart like up my parking garage and the books kept like trying to topple over in the bags that I had them in. And it was embarrassing. I was trying to like maneuver my cart and this person had to park in this reserve spot that I was trying to struggle bust through. It was a whole thing, but we're here and now I'm gonna sweat some more trying to put them in the cart. Should I attempt to film this? We might. I don't know what's happening. There's the little sign. I have to park by the ramp because you think I'm gonna pull these uh, bags up the stairs? It's not happening. Um, this is the flagship location. There's so much happening right now. It's so loud. Um, this is the flagship location for Half Price Books. It's in Dallas and it's massive, like ridiculously huge. They're normally just tiny little places and strip malls. Um, have my books back here with my Diet Dr. Pepper, of course. But um, yeah, we're gonna attempt this. Wish me luck. What a beautiful angle. <laughs> One, okay. And two. Guys, I'm so embarrassed right now to be walking into this place with my giant cart. Like I've put off doing this for weeks because I just didn't want to be that person bringing a whole ass cart into here to sell my books. I mean, just, just look at this. <laughs> Don't mind me and my 700 books. They're also in such good condition. Here we go. This place is so huge, honestly my happy place. I'm going to be in here for a few hours, most likely, because I always am. But um, I have no idea how many books I even have. It's like a couple hundred, I feel like for sure. So we'll see what we can get. Watch, I walk in and they're like, we're not buying any more books today. I've never had that happen, but uh, you never know. Okay, honestly, it's completely dead in here and this is pretty much my dream. I was wondering because it's a Friday evening, it's like 5.30, so I was like, I don't know if everyone's gonna run to half price books after work on Friday. There's still some random stragglers though, and I feel awkward, but I'm in the religion section, so I thought this might be a safe space. Um, I'm the only person selling my books. There was no line at all. The guy was like, you brought a whole cart? And I was like, mm-hmm. So 
I'm just gonna peruse. I already saw some good things. I'm gonna try to film a little, but I'm embarrassed to speak, so we'll see. Okay, I already spy my current read. And by current, I mean, I haven't actually started it yet, but Claire and Gibbsy's book, The Boys of Tommen series. Literally guys, this is my favorite series right now. I am so excited to start this. They already sold out of the first edition that had like the ombre spines, which is nuts because it came out like yesterday, day before yesterday, a couple days ago, um, popping off as it should. I cannot wait to start it, but I've been so busy and I need like the true time to soak it in. Okay, I still have not read bribe by Ella Hazelwood yet. I feel like I have such mixed feelings on it just from like the reviews I've heard. It seems like it's really good. Like some people love it, but then other people are making it seem like it's just very weird. I keep hearing about something called the nodding and I don't really know what that means, but obviously I'm here for the vampire and the werewolf of it all. So I might have to get that with my money. We will see. The young adult section at Half Price Books is actually my happy place. I mean, obviously I always have to come and check it out. It just feels necessary my heart there is always no less than like 12 copies of the fault in our stars here at any given time and it kind of breaks my heart that anybody is getting rid of it i mean the upside 5.99 if you haven't cultured yourself yet find yourself at half price books please um i guess the more popular the book the more people that have it the more people that are going to eventually declutter it but um this book will forever be my favorite like i just don't see anything topping it do i need this this special edition. It's silver. I already have a hardback. I have a paperback. What is? Oh, this is just the hardback without. Okay. What makes it an exclusive collector's edition? Like, are there pictures inside? I kind of feel the need to investigate. I really don't think it's special. I think it's just silver. Oh, there's stars. Tell me I don't need it. I don't need it. There's no way. I have my little my little Augustus Waters Bolivian tattoo. I need to leave. The iconic HPB. The sheer lack of people here is just bringing me so much joy, but um, okay. This is what I came here to find, but I'm a little bit devastated. I think you guys know I'm kind of in a new like reading era. As of recently, I read The Secret History by Donna Tartt. It kind of changed my life. This is kind of the vibe I am going for in 2024 as we're already a quarter of the way through i feel like i keep saying in 2024 i'm gonna blank it's already basically 2025 i can't think that way but i really want to read the goldfinch but they only have it in hardback and i am a hardback hater i despise hardbacks like this is so heavy what am i supposed to do with this like knock somebody out no this is this is what i go for um, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pass. This is what I came here looking for, mainly, but I can't do hardback. It's only $14.99, what a steal. Um, gonna have to keep looking. you <laughs> it's hard out here i always whenever i i promise i'm gonna clean up whenever i film videos like this i always forget to take a thumbnail and then i get home and then i'm trying to like screenshot some blurry part of the video and we're not gonna do that grab some random books behind the scenes okay quick smile okay this was proof i cleaned up I'm not a heathen. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm blind and I literally just saw this. Love Donna Tartt, try these authors. Obviously, I know Margaret Atwood, iconic, but um, I'm gonna check these people out. Let's take a little look around for Kate and Ian and Jonathan. Oh! That would be me. Okay, me and the cart have been reunited, but guys, I am shook right now. I got $128. So I guess I'm rich. I guess I'm gonna treat myself. I'm shook by that. I probably had 150 books, but still, I mean, they don't give you much. They give you, I feel like a dollar, a little bit more than a dollar a book, but I've gotten like $40 here before. That was definitely the biggest haul I've ever brought, but see, I should take it and run. But I'm probably gonna be a little silly. <laughs> Cause now girl math, like 
I made money. I made money. So I'm um, gonna keep looking around, but now I have to <laughs> have to haul this baby with me. So guys, I feel like I'm on a damn scavenger hunt now because I came looking for Sylvia Plath because I want to read the bell jar. Obviously, that's gonna be in the same genre that I'm looking at this year. Love Sylvia Plath. Try these authors. What about Sylvia Plath? She's nowhere to be found. Also, me leaving my receipt for $128 right there. How about we don't do that, Nikki? That is the ADHD coming out. Let me just put that in my cart. How is there not a single copy of a single Sylvia Plath book here? It might be hiding. I'm so confused, but while we're over here in the peas, did we know that Snooky, Snooky, Snooky? Can I speak? Did we know Snooky wrote a book? <laughs> a sure thing. What? What does Snooky have to say? I mean, an icon, a legend, but... Oh. I... Why does this seem fictional? While Snooky and her cousin are gonna have the sexiest summer ever, blah, blah, blah. Bella's ready for some fun. Who is Bella? I think this is fictional. What is going on? Do I cop, though? <laughs> 9.99? I don't know. Perhaps. Um, but actually, the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe feels like something I should own. I don't know if you guys saw my vlog where I went to Philadelphia and I went to Edgar Allan Poe's house and I felt the spirit of him speak to me. That might be dramatic, but I felt his presence. I swear it was a very powerful moment for me. Wait. Wait, but how much is she? Wait. I don't see a price, so I think it's free. Cool. Okay, I'm just not having great luck here. Another book I was on the search for was Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. And not to be a snob, but I don't like any of these covers. I know they're old school, but I just don't really love them. They do have this like full collection of his works and I do like that cover, but I don't know that I'm ready to commit to the entire set. It's only 20 bucks. I probably should. But I'm not sure. I want to give it a try before I fully dive in. Must always pop over to the record section. Okay, we finally have the paperback of Happy Place by Emily Henry. And it is gorgeous, but dude, the way her books now only come in hardback, I just stated I was a hardback hater, but I bought the um, Kindle version whenever it first came out and I read it and it was good, but I just don't, I don't feel like I need it enough to buy it. But it is so pretty. Okay, if you are looking to get into thrillers, this one is so good. I actually love every thriller by Geneva Rose. She has a new one coming out pretty soon here that I am so excited to get, but this one's like about an Airbnb sort of situation. So good, very suspenseful. But speaking of thrillers, we've got a lot of Frida McFadden over here. And I did a video a few months ago where I read like five of her thrillers back to back and you guys really liked it. I need to go back to her because her books are winners. Like I haven't read one that I haven't liked yet. They're just super fast paced. Guys, I just do not think it is my day here. I was hoping to find the new cover of The Deal because I might have decluttered all of my off-campus series books. I enjoyed them. They were a good time. The Deal, obsessed, will never not love. I want to keep that one. I want to reread it, but I want the new cover because I prefer these, but they only have the goal and the legacy. So I guess we will wait on that. Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything. I did find one book that I might get, but it might just not be my day. I might just have to take my money and run, but I am having a good time. So that's all that matters. Okay, more people are showing up. So I think that means it's time for me to leave. This was the book I was going to get because obviously look at it. I have not heard of it. It's called Wayward by Amelia Hart. I don't know. I opened it and I started to read it. Look, the chapter headers have little like bugs on them, like dragonflies, and it's about like witches, and it's about three different witches and three different time periods, and I guess their stories kind of weave together. Okay, this has like, I'm sorry, like it's up my alley, but I started to read the first chapter and it's all in third person, and I just don't know that I vibe with that these days. It's just a preference thing. I don't know. I just don't think I'm feeling it. And I don't want to force myself to get something that I don't really want. So what I think I am going to get, <laughs> I saw um, A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole over there. 
it has been traditionally published since I bought it and I adore that book but this cover that I have it is like the book is so tall and it's like a shiny cover and it's constantly like it's like warped and it drives me crazy so I think I'm gonna get that because <laughs> it's like a matte cover now and it's a little bit shorter um so I think I'm gonna buy that but I think I'm gonna save my money and I think I'm just gonna order the books I really want online I think I'm gonna get the goldfinch and maybe the bell jar so okay here she is in all of her glory, this might be the death of me. The non-removable sticker. I don't know why they do that, but we will take it. Um, I have seen people absolutely rave about this book, but I just read the back and it seems very kind of fantasy and I just don't think that's my era right now. Um, if you guys love it, let me know, but I think we are going to exit. Okay guys, I think we had a successful mission. I got my little book, got my little wad of cash. Um, seriously, if you haven't read A Thousand Boy Kisses, I can count the amount of books that have made me cry on less than two hands. And this book made me cry maybe the most of any of them. I think mm, I think The Fault in Our Stars still probably takes the cake, but this was a very close second, if not equal. Like I was crying on like chapter two, I think. I was crying a third of the way through, half the way through, the entire last half. It destroyed me, but in the best possible way. It's just one of those books that you just you just need in your life so anyways guys this was a fun little adventure it is very stormy and gloomy looking outside like see how gray it is my kind of friday night personally i just have a lot going on right now guys um if you care about my life i am just in the craziest season for my job right now i work in events and my biggest event of the year is in a week and a half from now so I am just working like crazy I just needed this Friday night to just go and uh do this and get out of the house a little bit because I have not left my house like literally this whole week I have just been working so late and it's been so nuts but I'm gonna go home tonight recharge a little um read a little write a lot I feel so god when work is crazy it's really hard to like be super consistent on writing but I really try to make it a point to do it because like writing keeps me sane um if you guys don't know I also write books I have my own books I have three out currently you can find them all linked in the description of this video I feel like I never just like plug my books I I mean I put a little clip at the beginning always saying like read my books but I never really talk about it on here unless like I'm specifically doing that in a video a Q&A or something so yeah if you're interested read my books I have a little hockey romance I have an 80s enemies to lovers fake dating romance and I have a childhood friends to strangers to lovers story as well so yeah I am writing actually the second book in my hockey duet right now so that's been a very fun little adventure so gonna go work on that tonight and then I'm just gonna be working like crazy for the next week and a half but um we're gonna make it through it's gonna be fine. Thanks for coming along with me on this weird random little vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it and um, yeah I will talk to you later. Bye! <laughs>